Hmm. Why am I so upset on the latest announcement for the new flying car? Stay tuned. I think you'll get it. I'm William Bailey. You need to know this. Who would be interested in something like this? Well, we hope anyone would be interested. Anyone that loves to fly, anyone that's interested in an efficient, short uh, commute. And so we would sell this in the ultralight category um, and operate it under that uh, rule set as uh, and then work with the, the training, train the pilots to fly the vehicle, the unique configuration and open it up to anyone. What could someone do with an aircraft that looks like this? This is the type of airplane where you can or air vehicle where you can walk out your front door, hop in it, punch of the button, fly, commute to work, land next to your office, walk in or take a vacation or Go see the countryside. Anything you want to do, electric, personal air vehicle, um, coming, coming to us. And what do you think so far? And it, it doesn't have wheels. It doesn't have skids. So how, how does it fly? How does it work? Okay, so the configuration is a all composite airframe. It has eight propulsors, electric motors, elect, uh, battery with electric motor, motors, it um, takes off vertically and lands vertically, and then it translates in the air to, to fly forward flight using the wings. So it's a biplane, and so it, those wings get the air over, fly as a conventional uh, airplane, and then it transitions to the hover uh, and flies on the propellers to land and take off. Folks, we're talking about a flying vehicle, a flying car that was thought of in 2011. Yeah. It could be both a commuter vehicle or a recreational vehicle. What kind of recreational use would you have for something like this? Where could you land it? Where could you, where could you use it? So you can land this virtually anywhere. You just need this uh, space uh, that's big enough, like the, the, the space we have here in the convention, where you can put the airplane down uh, free of power lines, free of obstacles and then take it off. So you could, uh, you could land at work, you could land in the country, a grass, paved, or even in, on, in the land. It's uh, certified under the ultra, or it's uh, ultralight uh, amphibious vehicle, so you can land in the water as well. Oh, you can land in the water as well, okay. And, and how far could you travel with an aircraft like this? So the ultralight category has a restriction of 26 miles, so we can go that full distance. The vehicle's capable of multiples of that. As in the ultralight category, that's, that's what we're doing today, 26 miles. At about 62 miles an hour is the top speed. And then, the, like I said, the vehicle's capable of more than that. So as we uh, work with the regulators, we'll be able to open up the full capability. of. Mm, it just keeps getting better. It can land in the water. Really? A sense of how much something like this would cost. I mean, I, I, I know you're not selling it now, but what kind of price range are we looking at? We'd like to sell this for the price of a, a, an SUV, ultimately. Okay. Which is a bit of a, a range span, but that certainly, yeah, there's lots of people who own SUVs. Um, so tell us... It gives you a rough idea. This is an, a vehicle that we want to be able to sell to everyone. The initial vehicle took off and landed vertically. Then we built a vehicle to focus on the transition. Then we built a series of vehicles focusing on the control systems, which then led to our vehicle number two. Vehicle number two was the combination of all of that. So we had the vertical takeoff and landing, as well as the transitions, the autonomous control. And then that was our pre-production production model, which then led to this uh, production model. And so how was the V3 different from, say, the V2? On V3 versus th V2, we've respun the avionics the control systems used all the lessons that we've learned out of the testing we've just we've had 26,000 flight tests uh, we've flown the aircraft over 23,000 miles and so all those lessons learned went into refinements to make the flight controls and the structure more robust safer and and ready for production can you talk a little bit more about the safety aspects of the aircraft and also the testing that you're doing to achieve those safety uh, and that redundancy. Yeah, absolutely. So as far as safety, I mean, that's the driving number one priority behind everything we do. This has to be a safe vehicle for any, for if we want to have everyone operate it. So with the version three, 
uh, design for manufacturability and the upgrade uh, of the flight control systems and the other systems. So that means now we are going back and doing testing now, that's regression testing in some sense, to validate all those changes to make sure that we've gotten the result that we wanted out of those upgrades, that we have a robust system that um, will be happy entering, uh, that will be satisfied that as we enter the market space with it, that it will perform um, safely for everyone. In addition to that, we've also um, put a ballistic parachute in the design, and we will be testing um, that parachute uh, deployment and the recovery of the vehicle with that, um, so that we have that added assurance uh, in, the, in, the, in the delivery. And now, the latest release, 2021, the newest flying vehicle slash car. A milestone in aviation. Today, Lyft Aircraft unveiled Ohio's first flying car at the Springfield Beckley Airport. First at four, two news reporter Kiana Deitches gives us the first look at the aircraft and how it could be used. This hexa-electric aircraft, which is essentially a large multi-rotor drone, can fly up to 1,200 feet with a single passenger. The Lyft aircraft that we see today represent the emergence of incredible technology that has the potential to transform our lives, just as the Wright brothers did more than 117 years ago. A new world of flight made in the Miami Valley, the center of advanced aerospace. We're really excited, uh, you know, all of the resources uh, that Ohio brings to bear. Uh, are, are really going to help us in our development. Matthew Chasen, the CEO of Lyft, says the aircraft will be used for recreation and entertainment. While it's still in its testing phase, a pilot's license isn't required. Anyone with just an hour worth of training in this stimulator can fly it. It'll also be used for public and military use. It's designed completely for safety. It has 18 individual motors, propellers, and batteries uh, so that multiple can, can fail and you can still fly safely. As they get things off the ground, officials say it's also an exciting time for jobs in Ohio. As we look to the future and um, these EV tolls or flying cars, as they're affectionately called, uh, become mainstay, uh, we'll need to not only research, test, and develop them like we're doing right now, but we'll also need to manufacture them and deploy them out to our folks. Over 15,000 people are on the wait list to fly it. Chasen says he expects that to happen by the end of 2021. Ohio has been working for decades on smart mobility and advanced air mobility, uh, and today just marks another step in that journey. In Springfield, Kiana Digest 2 News working for you. Wow. My big question is, why isn't the black fly getting that kind of media? It seems like this new flying car is hyped up more than what's already been created a long time ago. What's your opinions? I mean, am I the only one that thinks that this black fly looks way, way better? And it just looks fast just looking at it. Don't know. I Maybe I'm just picky. Nah. Leave me a comment. I want to know what you think. In my opinion, I think this new car is behind on looks and everything. So why aren't we, why isn't this thing, this, this black fly, why don't we have one in our car, in our driveway right now, in our car? Which one would you choose? Black fly? Or whatever this drone looking thing is. Leave a comment. Like and subscribe if you like seeing reviews like this. Now time for the verse of the day. 1 Corinthians 13.4 Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. God bless everybody. Have a great day.